Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again, back in the basement. And before I get started in this video, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who left some positive feedback on my last video where I talked about ending my weekly training logs. A lot of people said that they watched those videos. In fact, a lot of you said those are the only videos of mine that you watch. So I think I'm going to go back on what I said and actually keep uploading those publicly. So if you like those videos, great. If not, sorry, don't watch them. You probably don't anyways. But anyways, like I said, I'm here in my basement and I have a deload week this week. So it's going to be pretty light in terms of when I put up the video at the end of the week detailing it. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of behind the scenes stuff of what's going on. Um, I have some stuff in front of me. I thought I'd just talk about it real quick. I used to do this all the time. Well, I have a little bit of a pre-workout snack because I'm getting ready. I'm actually sitting here, like I said, in my basement. I uh, got the TV going right now with some red bone, which you know about that Donald Glover stuff. Um, so I'm going to have some pre-workout snacks. I don't really do a lot of candy for the most part. I think it's really cliche, but in some instances it's really simple because it's quick, easy, and usually delicious uh, way to get in some carbs and some sugar and some easy energy. However, these Starburst gummies, I'm not a big fan of these. I've been trying to get rid of this bag forever because I just don't really like eating them. So hopefully I'm going to kill this bag today. Uh, I do like the Starburst minis a lot. These I would not recommend so much. And then pre-workout today is actually a little bit different. So I picked up some of this Carbon Prep by Lane Norton. You guys know Lane Norton, you know? You said I was done. You said I had no chance. Let's roll. I can't do a Lane Norton impression any justice, but he posted on Twitter the other day that uh, bodybuilding.com was stopping production of all the carbon line. So everything was like 50% off. So I grabbed a couple of these pre-workouts. It's a lot different profile than what I'm used to. And you guys know that Citadel Nutrition is always going to be the pre-workout of choice for me. Great guys, great company. I love what they do. And sometimes it's just nice to mix things up. To even things out a little bit though, I put the carbon in a Citadel Nutrition shaker. And again, it's a lot different profile than this. Uh, and I would do a review, but since they're no longer going to be making this pre-workout, there's no point because they probably might not have any more on bodybuilding.com as is. And then finally, I also got a big package. Well, I've always had a big package, but this is a package that I was sent from A7 you know what I'm saying, uh, from a lot of their new lines. So I'll kind of maybe do a quick overview of what they sent me. I've been real big fans of what they do. I pretty much wear their shirts in every training session, except for right now. I'm not wearing one right this second, but my plan is hopefully, depending on if these fit or not before I wash them, to my liking, to show off them gains, uh, I will probably change this Strength Shop shirt that I have, which I also like Strength Shop stuff. So typically, I get questions on some of the banners and stuff I have down here. Um, I usually put up banners of my friends or companies that I really like. Usually, um, I think always people I have a working relationship with for the most part. And a friendly relationship, I should say. Not a working relationship because I don't get paid for any of this. Uh, but just kind of detail some of the stuff. I have this Iron Master one tucked in the corner. They actually gave me a set of these adjustable dumbbells that they have. To be honest, I never use these. Um, the few times I have, they've been good. I just never really use them. Um, this isn't a banner per se, but it's still probably the best picture in existence. How often do you see He-Man, Skeletor, and Orko having a good old-fashioned pizza party? Talked about Citadel Nutrition already. Talked about A7 already. So again, fans of what they do, and they're fans of what I do. So I, I like that. Uh, the Fueled by Hate banner, Matt Vincent, Mike Beach. I've been wearing a lot of their shorts when I train. So those floral looking shorts that you guys either love or hate. And those skeleton looking ones also. Uh, and you've seen me in a lot of their shirts and a lot of their hats. I just like what they do and they're cool guys. Cool guys. Way to sell them, Brandon. Tell them that they're cool guys. Uh, we also have a Pioneer Fitness banner. So these are the guys that do the custom belt. So... These are the belts I wear all the time. I much prefer them to Inzer. Matt behind Pioneer has been great to me and has sent me a couple of belts, which I can't argue with. The Conquering Barbell thing, you guys have seen me wear a ton of their shirts before when they were Forged Iron Training. You don't see them as much in the training videos these days only because literally I think these A7 shirts are really like a piece of training equipment and I prefer to wear these on training because of the bar grip. And then the USA flag, which doesn't sponsor me, but I'm a fan. And then finally, the state of Rhode Island flag. So those are why those banners are up there. I get questions about them every now and then. I know my basement looks a little NASCAR-ish with all the product placement, so to say. But I don't get paid for any of these. They're just, I'm friends of them and I like what they do. If you're interested, that's kind of my way of just saying, you know, I support them and they support me. I will say I do have 
a discount code with A7, I think. It's Campbell, which I'll put on the screen. I don't get paid for it, uh, but if you want to save 10%, you can. I think I'm one of the few people that actually have a discount code. I think they gave it to me a long time ago, and they might have just forgot that they gave it to me, but it's still active as far as I know. So if you want to save 10% on any of the A7 stuff, you definitely can. All right, so this might be a terrible idea, but I'm going to try to unbag this package with one hand. And normally, when I'm dealing with my package in one hand, it's never really been a problem in the past. I mean, I wish I had to use two hands, but I can get by with one and stuff is falling out right now. So we're going to go just take a look at this. And if this doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So something's already fallen out. <clears throat> and what these are, let's see if I can get this going. This is not going to work out well. All right, so we open it with our teeth because that's how we do things. These are actually their new slipper. So it's like deadlift slipper, lifting slipper, lifestyle slipper, if you will. And what it is is, you know, obviously they have the sole on the bottom. And I think these are actually called soles as far as their shoe name goes. But it's like a deadlift slipper like you might have seen, but it also has um, some straps, which you don't typically see in deadlift slippers. Deadlift slippers are typically just like socks. They're really loose and they're like kind of one size fits all. So I'm looking forward to giving these a go. If they fit, fit my gargantuan feet, which I don't know if they will. I told them that I have a bigger size foot. These might not fit. They don't look like they will. So we might be doing a giveaway on this, but still interested to maybe try to cram it in there, which I'm always a big fan of, as you guys know. So that's the first thing. Let's reach into the magic bag. What else do we have? Feels like an invoice, which you guys probably don't care about. What else do we have in here? And something that's marked XXL. I want to say this is probably part of their compression line. Everything here is nicely done. So they've redone all their packaging, their bags, obviously, but also all these bags here with the products in it. From a consumer standpoint, these are super nice because they're like Ziploc and stuff like that. From an unboxing standpoint, for YouTube, it's not so great because this stuff is very hard to do with one hand. There you go. So let's come back here, see what we got. Shake that out. And it looks like some of their new OX or OX compression shorts. These look pretty nice. You guys know how I like my spandex, but these aren't ones that are going to ride up your bunghole. These are actually pretty thick, they feel like, which is part of the problem I have with a lot of the other compression gear that people sell. It's really thin. Um, but this feels like a, a little bit thicker material, especially around the waistband. So when you're trying to jack these up to your nipples or your armpits, it's not going to rip or tear. Or if someone's giving you a wedgie, these shorts will still work out nice. So looking forward to trying those on depending on how you guys feel about what I look like in spandex you too may be looking forward to me trying those on let's see what else is in here uh looks like another pair oh look at this uh, ow I think I'm getting a foot cramp let me kill it nope all right let's go ahead and open this and I want to say that this is going to be the same thing just a different color Yep, so these are a green pair. You guys can take a look. Same thing as I just showed you, so maybe you can tell a little bit difference since it's not just black on black. Uh, but this is a green pair of those same kind of compression shorts. There's that. What else we got? Oh, good. I don't have to open this because it's clear. So this is a pair of their wrist wraps. However, I want to show you guys some stuff on here that I thought was pretty unique and interesting. So... I'm a big fan of what the super trainings guy, super training guys do with the thumb loops on here because they're sewed. This actually gives you all sorts of different options. I don't even know if you guys can see this or not because I'm having this here. All right, so let's do this. So you have a couple of options with this thumb loop. Obviously, there's the one in the center, which I like the best, but you have one here and you have one here, so you never have to worry about putting this on the wrong hand or not. Uh, so they sent me two pairs of these wrist wraps. I believe one is their stiff version, hey now, and one is their flexible version. Let me see if I can dig the other one out. So there you go. So same thing, just one's a stiffer material than the other. Cool. Dig in some more. What we have looks like in this case, 
And I think this might work pretty well in terms of unbagging. Bagging and packages. What else could you want? So these are another pair of shorts, but in this case, these are probably your more traditional, looser fitting, breathable shorts and not spandex. So that's cool too. You guys know how I like my shorts and with something like this with black, you can match it with everything. Not that that matters. Let's dig in some more. What do we got? All good. So this is something I was probably looking forward to the most and this is their knee sleeve. So I got a size medium. I find for me and my chicken little legs, the medium are like a comp fit, so extra tight. Of course, no matter what pair of knee sleeves you go with, regarding their A7, their strong sleeves, SBD, whatever, you always wanna make sure you take a look at the sizing chart because they all vary. But here we go. Those are the sleeves, those are the front. Here's the back. And the actual stitching is diagonal, which is different. So most times um, when you deal with a lot of companies now, they're, they're vertical. Um, I think the SBDs might be similar to this. Actually, let's check. So those are the A7s. Here's the SBD. So similar design, however, This feels a little bit more stiff in terms of material. Again, these are brand new though. These are used, uh, but I can do a comparison of those in the future. And I might try to wear those, these today, even though it's just for a deload. So there's that. And I'm creating a big old mess down here. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's see what else is in this bag. So here we have, it looks like a shirt, which is the bread and butter. You guys either hate or love that noise. I know AMSR, ASMR, what's it called? Is really big on YouTube. However, I don't really have the sexy voice for it. So this is one of their stealth bar grip shirts, but with the new design. So I have one similar like this, except it has an A7 in black on the front. This one is their actual, you know, their bar grip marking. You can kind of see it over there if I zoom in. So this is cool. This is one of their new ones. And of course on the back, you have the actual grip itself. Um, and they've gone through several revisions of these in the past from changing the material to changing the heights. Um, so this is something that, again, I can't really live without. I train in them all the time. But what else do we have in here? It looks like another shirt. In this case, it's just blue. I may or may not be wearing this one in the next clip you see or in some of my later updates for the week. And that's it. So. Big thanks to A7 for sending me all that stuff. Now I have to clean up my basement, which was looking pretty clean. Um, but if you're interested in getting any of that stuff, I don't know if it's in stock still or not. One of the the good and bad sides of having a very successful business like I, A7 is that they put out great stuff and everyone wants to buy it, which is a great problem to have if you're a business owner. The bad problem is, is they have a hard time keeping stuff in stock. So if they still have it in stock, you can use my middle name, which is Campbell, for a 10% discount. Again, I think that's still active. If not, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I think I'll cut this video here because between the last clip and this clip, we're at like 10, 12 minutes and it's just me rambling. So you can see some of this more than likely at the end of the week recap training log, which again are now gonna be public for everybody. And I'll try to work on doing some of those comparison videos for future reference. As always, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.